We build giant corporate and government entities powered by vast amounts of personal information and expect them to be transparent machines. Welcome to the Chikama Live Show with your host, Chikama. We're continuing on with the Japan Releases Fully Functioning Robot Wife series. I want to make a clear, concise statement of what these robots are not. These robots cannot think. They are the best of what mankind can offer, but they cannot think. For all the bells and whistles and amazing things they can do, most of which is purely mechanical, including carrying a child in their womb, they cannot think. Statement 2. You can, at any time, grab your remote control and shut it off. In fact, if you have a problem, you can call a serviceman and he will come over and use his remote control and shut it off. Statement 3. That same serviceman or the company can wipe everything the robot has learned. If you didn't know, you can train the robot or customize her to act the way you want her to act. Martini at 6. Dinner at 6.30. Foot massage at 7. Bed by 9. All of that wiped out. All your training of having her call you Pookie Wookie gone. Now, why am I making these statements? Go on, give me a guess. I know I'm too subtle probably for YouTube, but you're men. You're older men. You're wiser men. You can read between the lines. Why am I making these statements? I want to ask you a question. Do you think there's any reason that anyone would care if one Saturday, while you were washing your car, that you were cursing a, up a blue streak at the car. Would anyone care if you were golfing, missed a ball in the rough seven times, and broke the club over your knee? What about if you were playing a video game and some guy killed you seven times in a row and you got so mad you threw your controller across the room smashing it and punched a hole in your wall? What about walking around your house naked as a jaybird? Would anyone care? So then I ask you, why are stories popping up talking about having ethical laws of how to treat robots? Before you answer that, what were the three statements I made at the beginning of the video? Hey, Casey! I I said the robot can be completely shut off and wiped at any time. What does that mean? That means that the robot is nothing more than your own TV. I want you to answer this. Who do you think is behind these attempts to force ethics on robots that cannot think, cannot feel? Let me tell you about this. While researching my video about can you fall in love with a robot, one of the researchers doing the study to see if we could fall in love with the robot said, no matter what you do, keep in mind this. While you, a human, and fall in love with a robot, a robot can never fall in love with you. Even if the programming is really, really good, the robot can't fall in love with you. The robot has no feelings, no cares, no judgment. Speaking of which, there are several companies who have come out with robot psychologists. They have found that people actually do better with robot psychologists because they perceive the robot to not judge and not care. And so, they share far more about their problems than with the human psychiatrist. This is well documented by these companies. So now, we return to the question. If robots can't feel at all, and the robot programmers have no way of even making them feel, why is there a push to talk about ethics? Let's go through this slowly. So even the most thick of you can understand. What is ethics for? Or even... Who is ethics for? Ethics is a system by which you can maintain your reputation and you appear above all accusations of being improper because you are professional with those who are professional and you keep at a distance those who are unprofessional. While people pretend it's all about morals, it's not. It's simply about a method to maintain your reputation. Anyone saying it isn't is treating you like a simpleton. So now that we have that out the way, what is this notion of pushing ethic laws when dealing with your robot wife? Are you forming an opinion yet? Who do you think is pushing for this? And when I say who, 
I mean, try and look at the wheels within wheels. Let's say, for instance, these laws were passed, and they brought you to court with your robot wife, perished the thought. So they all packed the court, jury of the local yokels, and you call the robot company serviceman in the court, and before the court's eyes, wipe the robot's memory, and shut it down, and pack it in a box. Case closed, right? Sure, if the judge was logical. So what's even the point? I guarantee you that companies shut down all these robots daily if they don't meet their standards. So then this video is not only to inform you of the gathering storm, but to serve as a warning. You have to voice your opinion and not let these people pass these laws with you being silent. Now you might ask yourself, how could they even enforce any such laws? Well, that brings me to something I discovered when I first started researching for this robot series. That warning came swift and immediate, and the articles poured out. Beware of these robots. The companies believe it is their right to invade your privacy by spying on you through these robots. Oh, you think I'm talking about the robot wife? No, I'm talking about your Roomba. I'm talking about your little Eon. I'm talking about our Ion. I'm talking about all these little toys that your kids play with. They all have a method of actually not only tracking, but also video recording everything that goes on around the robot. You think your text messages are private? You think your phone calls are private? We already know our emails are not private, not even remotely. Technology from the very beginning has been a way to destroy your privacy and any such rights. Do you remember the case where Apple was told that they had to give up all of the text messages on the phone in a federal case and Apple said no? Why did Apple do that? It wasn't because Apple is such a fantastic company that it really cares about your privacy. It was because immediately several companies started to form and gather funding to create a phone that would not and could not invade your privacy. That's why they did it. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, share the video, subscribe.